I believe you, you need to expect things from your children. Our kids without anything expected from them and no responsibility, what are they going to amount to? My trip around the world was a 13 month adventure. I went just over 28,000 nautical miles. I set two records, uh, youngest around the world and first person under 18 to sail around the world. This wasn't something that was a haphazard thing. I'll go out there and see if you can do it. Seeing my own brother go out and do something so amazing, it really inspired me to go and do the same. The harsh reality of, of the ocean is it doesn't care who you are, where you are, or what you're doing. It, it will nail you sooner or later. We had been looking at some different boats. And we decided to go with an Open 40. And the boat was built for sailing in those big rollers that you get down south. It was virtually unsinkable. We chose Wild Eyes because, one, it was a proven vessel. It had been sailed around the world by Alan Paris, who became the first Bermudian to sail around the world. And what we particularly liked about the boat, it had positive flotation, so no matter what happened to the boat, it would stay afloat. felt comfortable with her going was when uh, Wild Eyes was in Marina Del Rey and the team was working on it and I could see Abby just diving in and pouring every ounce of herself into the boat and being challenged. No one goes out to sea and comes back the same person. I don't care if you sail 100 miles or 10,000 or 25,000, no one goes out and comes back the same person. When we saw Abby out to sea, we initially followed her out with a 64-foot Bertram. Seeing that sailboat in the gigantic ocean, basically a speck. 2,000 miles off the Western Australian coast, 16-year-old Abby Sunderland ran into trouble. With winds gusting at over 70 miles per hour, her boat has been knocked down several times. Wild eyes, wild eyes. 